Pompano Beach, members of a family are accused of a brutal hate crime. The victim barely survived and he'll suffer lifelong consequences because of what happened to him. CBS 4's Carly Barnett has been working to learn more about the story. She's here now to tell us what she found out. Carly? Well, Elliot Lauren, this is a pretty involved case, so we're going to break it all down for you. Three people are facing hate crime charges after the Broward State Attorney's Office says they attacked a man due to his sexual orientation. The State Attorney's Office says August 6th of 2021, the 31-year-old man, who is not being identified after invoking Marcy's Law, was beaten so badly that he is now permanently blind. Yevon Makarenko, Ole Makarenko, and Ina Makarenko were all charged with attempted murder, burglary battery, and kidnapping. Now, according to the arrest forms, the attack was premeditated. The forms say they, quote, secretly, forcibly, or by threat, abducted or imprisoned the victim against his will to terrorize him. They go on to say they struck the victim numerous times, causing serious bodily injury and disfigurement, almost resulting in his death, end quote. They were arrested for these charges back in March at the house that they were staying at, located at 320 Southeast 12th Avenue in Pompano Beach. And it was today that those hate crime charges were added. And Carly, I know you went to that house. What did you find out there? When we went to the house, we I made contact with someone who identified himself as a family friend, but he would not speak with us. We found signs with a QR code saying to help Ukrainian refugees. These were taped to the mailbox. They said these refugees were wrongfully jailed. The QR code took us to an online petition with 360 signatures. It read in part, the three arrested family members, mother, father, and son are being accused of severe crimes with multiple charges against them. These could result in a life in prison sentence in the United States or, if even possible, deportation back to Ukraine, where an excruciating war is happening now, end quote. The site also says the family owns Maxki Design LLC, and they're also collecting money for their defense. And Carly, before we go, we know that there was one other person who was also arrested in this case. What do we know about that person? Well, this person does also seem to be another family member. Vladislav Makarenko was arrested in Alabama and is now in a Broward jail awaiting possible charges as well. Now, those first three suspects, his relatives are due in court tomorrow morning. Lauren Elliott. Wow, well, Carly, quite an involved yeah. case. Thanks for bringing it down And maybe we'll find us. out more mm -hmm. when they appear in court. Well, we're hoping to. Okay. Carly, thank you very much.